Well, Gareth, you're a handful of games away from 500 senior appearances in English football. If selected on Saturday, it's your 200th game for the Albion. It's not bad for a late starter, is it? Is it 300, yeah? 200 on Saturday. Um, yeah, well, um, uh, obviously, you know, I've been here, been here a few years. Um, that's uh, that's a you know a nice milestone. Um, it'll be the most games I've I've played for any club in, in um, you know in, in England or Ireland, and uh, yeah, it's something something I'm actually proud of. Now you've now you've brought my attention to it. It's a, it's a long way from that first summer when you came here, which was. Uh, it was a pretty fraught time for you, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought it was going to be all over before I, before I uh, started. Actually, um, I was worried myself. Worried. I think the club were worried as well that um, you know something was something was up. Um, obviously, I, I had like a virus and like it just completely wiped me out for for a bit. But um, yeah, I managed to uh, build myself back up and and get going. And um, you know, it's been. A, Say it's been a fantastic football club right right from the start, and um, you know I felt at home, and and um, you know still do. It's um, you know, it's a pleasure to be here. It's a pleasure to play here, and um, you know hopefully I can play a few a few more games. You've uh, you had two main sort of partnerships at the back over the years, one with with Jonas and one with with Johnny Evans. Two two different kinds of players. Um, yeah, two two say completely completely different types of uh, players, but um, you know both. Both the both the lads have got the same, um, you know, same same sort of character, the same will to win, same determination, and um, yeah, it's been, uh, you know, it's been it's been easy playing with them, and that's a mark of uh, of them as players, really. Um, that you know you can slip in, they know the position, they know um, what you're doing, and, and what they're doing, and, and you know that makes that makes everything um, so much easier. Year on year, now it is that you you looked ahead to the the next season. How many more seasons are we going to see Gareth McCauley <laughs> at the back? Um, you know, Dave, it's, it's one at a time, isn't it? Um, you know, at the minute I feel I feel good. I'm in a in a good good position at the minute, and and um, you know I've got the you know the desire to pl to play again next year. Um, you know, further down the track that'll that'll get sorted out. But I say, um, you know. I've always been one for focusing on the, on the near future, focusing on the games ahead, and, and not looking too too far ahead. And um, you know, as long as I keep doing the right things, as long as I keep having the desire to do it, um, you know, I think I'll I'll be all right this season. Anyway. Were there any question marks coming into this season? Because obviously you had the summer with with Northern Ireland at the Euros. Um, I f yeah, you know, I thought you know with with the summer and, and stuff. Um, I thought now I'd have been I'd have been struggling, but um, I think playing in the summer was a good thing. Um, you know, it keeps your keeps your body going. I'm not one that you know during the week that I would have two days off or two you know two days in a row where where I'm not doing anything. Um, you know, I'm always I'm always doing something. I'm always always quite active, and um, you know I think that's a, a a big part of being able to play on at uh, more advanced years. <laughs> And uh, there's obviously an endorsement for DP coming up. Everybody understands pinching it in the dressing room now. Yeah, there's a big uh, there's a big DP craze at the minute in the in the, in the dressing room, trying to find a tube before a game. So, uh, you know, difficult at the minute. Uh, seems to seems to have caught on. I've noticed I've noticed recently, and there's a few lads that are looking at me, going, "How how are you feeling after the games and stuff?" And I'm like, "All right, normal." And that's so all. Uh, they're trying to pinch little bits and pieces that that I might do along the way. Big game on uh, on Saturday, Tottenham. Third time we've been in London in a month. We've just come out on the wrong side of two tough games, Chelsea and Arsenal. What the? How are you looking forward to Saturday? Yeah, for, you know, third time lucky. As you say, um, the last couple of trips have been disappointing. Disappointing for myself uh, individually, and uh, you know, hopefully you can put uh, can put that right at the at, at White Hart Lane. Um, obviously, a tough place to go. They're they're a fantastic team. Um, they're going well, and you know, but we're we're in a good place ourselves. We're confident ourselves. Um, we know from history that we've we've been able to um, to compete with them, to get results off them, to get points off them, and you know, hopefully, with with that belief and um, a good energy on on um, Saturday morning, we'll be able to come away with a positive result. It'd be nice to put last Saturday out of the way because I know everybody was was really down in the dressing room after the derby game. Um, yeah, it was. Um, you know. 
for me, for me personally, I, I'm running out of chances to play in a cup final. <laughs> and uh, and that's how you know that's how I was sort of uh, looking at the game. But um, yeah, it's that you know it's, it's disappointing. Everybody wants a cup run. Everybody wants that distraction. Everybody wants that wants to get to a cup final. Wants to play in, on that uh, major major sort of stage. You know, but um, you know, it wasn't to be. It wasn't uh, a great deal in the game. Could probably been been further ahead in in the game, but um, you know we've we've got to take that in the chin and, and move on and focus on the Premier League and focus on and trying to finish as high as we can, finish with as many points as we can. Because there's still plenty to, to go for in the Premier League. Top ten finish, fifty points. Yeah, as you say, like um, all them th the the fifty points has been elusive to us. We've got close a couple of times. We just haven't got over that line. So. Um, that would be nice to, to do that, but we've you know we've got to apply ourselves properly. We've got to uh, you know make sure once we uh, you know we keep going, once we get across like sort of forty points, and you know you're sort of safe that we we focus and uh, and have that desire to push on as players and push on as a club to you know to to achieve these things.